and welcome in this video we will discuss how we can read any csv file which is basically a comma separated or any kind of care separated file so for this demo i will discuss how we can access a comma separated file as well as a tab separated file so for a demo purpose i have taken some csv data from this website that is support dot specialkey.com so you can visit to this website here is lots of data so i am just put uh, just key uh, take the data of sample insurance portfolio so i there is another data like sales transactions or company funding records so for this demo i am just using sample insurance portfolio so i already have downloaded it so this one is the comma separated version so let's see what is in it so open it in excel so yes so you can see it here is a sub tabular data so if i want to read this data so i need some kind of placeholder to keep this data so for that i am just going to create a class with this specific key or field or property and we will read these data as the list of that particular class so i'm not going to do all the basic ground work actually i find some kind of helper class on the internet that i already have downloaded it so which is a basically csv file helper so if you see it let me open it in visual studio uh, loading it's taking some time so not an issue uh, for the time being if it is loading just uh, take a look the raw content of this file so here is the comma separated values like yes this one is comma separated one value this is another value and the row is separated by the blank lines so here is the first record second record so on so this is a comma separated and this is the same file with a tab separated so this is the tab separated version so here is the field separator is a tab basically tab is represented at slash t care in c sharp so now i think my file is open in visual studio no it's not let me open once again open file sometimes this make very non responding behavior let me pause for a minute yeah so now it's loaded so you can see we have lots of a uh, ground work here which is so we got some kind of default csv definition where we can define our line separator or row separator as well as field separator by default it has comma as a row separator oh sorry field separator and slash r slash n is the row separator so in this tutorial i will be using the same helper file so let's get started and jump into the demo so for that i will be going to create a new project i am just using a windows project windows form project where i will show how we can read the data from the uh, that particular file and so in a data grid so just select windows windows form and for now i am just giving it a name like csv reading demo nice so for this i am just going to copy this csv file and these two file so this is the helper files class file and these are the two data files so just in my solution i am just going to paste these files <coughs> nice and i am going to sell set the property for this csv file to copy always so that it can be copied to the uh, our bin folder so i can directly read that from the bin folder so copy this one also nice 
fine. So now we can also check CSV file here. No CSV files helper class here. We have lots of CSV class, CSV class have a generic CSV file reader, these all. So I already gone through this particular class and uh, find some of the methods for accessing the file. Let me just drag and drop some of the control. So I am using a data grid view to talk it to the parent and just on the load I am just going to read this file. I have already written some of the code like uh, so yes before that I already told you we have this kind of data so I want to create a placeholder for that so for the first demo purpose I have just created the class I am just going to copy it and let's suppose I am adding a class giving it the name let's suppose my data my data is some kind of type. Yes, now it's my data. Yes, do it. Mark it as a public data. So yes, I know this. Yes. So we have a class definition which have all the string properties. Nice. And on the page load, I am just writing these small codes like this. Nice. I just have to resolve the namespaces. Quick action. Resolve the namespaces. Nice. And I have my data file here. So, for accessing my tab separated file, I have just modify the default separator from comma to tab which is slash t and I have just supplied the name of that tab separated file and if I will just run my code so yes this will read the contain of that particular tab separated file and produce a list of my data class and bind it from the data grid so yes so now we can perform any operation on this data because now it has a the generic list of a, a particular class and if we want to just want to let me so another demo in which I am just reading the comma separated version of the same file yes so just copy this and comment it and for that I am just using comma or I cannot use because this is the default for it and I am using the comma separate version it will again load in my grid view there is nothing special so that's it uh, in this demo so I have not do, done any of the magic the whole magic is done by this particular class file csv files so I'm just going to upload it on the GitHub. I just provide the URL for that in the link. So thank you for the watching. Have a nice day.